you strong. Oh. Oh, I'll keep this in. So, a quick sub video, I guess, before the video actually starts. Yeah, sorry for a cluttered room. I've kind of in the middle of like reorganizing and cleaning. So, that's why it looks like ignore that can over there. Um, so yeah, before I actually get into this video, and yeah, for the reason why the camera look, quality looks like this, I'm quickly doing this on my phone, um, is to, like, apologize for the lack of videos since, what was my last video, August, September, one of those, um, I've been very busy trying to get my uni application sorted and trying to get some of that work done. I've been trying to get um, personal stuff done. I've been trying to do art commissions done. I've been trying to get some uh, tokens made. I've, I've had a lot of faff to do and I've had, had a lot of time to do any YouTube videos. So um, I haven't actually had much ideas because yet again the uh, UK's in a tier 4 that started on, I'm pretty sure it started Boxing Day, so again, I can't go down to, I can't go down to a local game shop, well, I can't go down to Skyward to get some more stuff, or actually go down to the fort and record some extra videos, so I have well, so everything's been faffing around trying to get everything done, I guess, so, um, so yeah, uh, but thank you to Savage, who actually sent me a, like, he actually told me about this app, and because we're both me, Ditsy, um, Ash, and, well, it's Bruna, yeah, me, Ditsy, Savage and Bruno are actually thinking about playing the game, so we thought that it might be low. Hang on, I mean, that's better. So we actually thought that we'll give this game a try. Um, and we've been watching a couple. Of, well, I've been watching a couple of videos of how it's played, and it looks really interesting. So I thought I'll record a video, our first video of the year. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get a load of videos done for 2021. So I'm back onto that steady stream, but there will probably be some times where I can't upload because I'm either doing uh, commission-based work or I'm doing my uni work. So there's gonna be a lot of that. I do plan to do more Digimon videos, so if you guys do like this video and want me to continue with with the app, because I'm probably only going to do the pretty sure I'm only just going to do the uh, tutorials. I can't speak, so be prepared for my lack of being able to read this video. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I do apologize for the lack of videos, and thank you for those who have actually stayed on the channel. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, Galiskin here, and today's a very different video. I thought today we'll go through the Digimon TCG tutorial app. Now, I was thinking about getting back to Digimon for a while. I noticed that the card game got released in the OCG in 2020 and we should have this for us in uh, I want to say mid mid 2021 so yeah you know, I thought this would be like a fun video to get on with and a very interesting one too because I want to kind of branch out from 
from what I'm doing right now from the uh, Pokemon Magic to kind of like have more more options and I thought this is a pretty cool way to do it. So yeah. So obviously we got tutorial, tutorial to a half star deck battle the red, blue and yeah. So let's begin the tutorial one. Yeah, I am completely new to how like well, I'm completely new to this app. Obviously this will take me a lot, a lot longer. Because yeah, just that's how I learn, it takes me a while. So in this tutorial you'll learn the basics of Digimon TC uh, card game. This includes um, playing Digimon, Digivolving and breeding. Five. You see them the in the bottom left corner. We got security deck. That's it's similar to how Pokemon, I think, and uh, the Dragon Ball Z one. Works. In draw phase, you draw one card from the deck. However, the player that goes first cannot draw on the first turn. Same for like uh, you here. Breeding. So during the breeding phase, you can do one of the following. Place one card from your Digi Egg deck face up in the breeding area. This is called hatching a Digi Egg. Move a level 3 or higher Digimon from the breeding area to the battle area. Or do nothing. This time, by hatching a Digimon, uh, hatch a Digi Egg. Place one Digi Egg card from your Digi deck face up in the Digi. Uh, the keep saying digi <laughs> uh, breathing air. So, let's tap that. Uh, hatch Digimon are level 2. If later Digivolved them to level 3 or higher, you can move them to the bow area uh, during the breathing phase. So, yeah. May phase Digivolving a Digimon cause it Come one level higher than it was. Uh, let's digivolve the area. Digivolving conditions of the level 3 in your hand that must be digivolved onto a red level 2 Digimon that has memory. memory cost of 0. And it's red level 2, so it meets the conditions. So, yeah, let's. Place that on top. And then we have Digivolved. Uh, yeah, we've done that. Then you can cast, uh, you get to draw one card from your deck. As a Digi bonus. Uh, can I claim Blymon in your hand in order to play Digimon? You have to pay its play costs. Uh, place the Bimon, I probably butchered that, in your hand, uh, in the bow area, and pay its play cost or two, uh, pay cost of two, in order to pay the memory cost, you move the memory counter that may space it away. Oh, it's, uh, it's the gauge, okay. So long as you pay the memory cost, you can play powerful level 5 or 6 Digimon if you want. So, let's, uh, let's play in the bow area. Uh, yeah, has summon sickness, which means you can't attack the same time it's summoned. Uh, the turn ends if the memory power moves to 1 or higher on your opponent's side. A memory gauge. If you use lots of high cost cards, you're giving your poem more memory to use during their turn. Now it's our beam phase. The vowel phase. So we slapped on a 3k and a slapped on 4k. Okay. 
Uh, try moving a Digimon from Bleeding Arrow to the Barrel Area. Uh, it's level 3, it can, it can be moved to Barrel Area. Uh, there's no one you cost or moving a Digimon from Bleeding Area. Moving Digimon in this way does not cause playing them. Oh, so. Going them from the Bleeding Area straight into the Battlefield allows them to not have the 76. Uh, you can digimol from the battle room as well. Try digimoling. Okay. So turn the bird into the dragon. Uh, take it from your hand, place it on the top of the digimon, then play the required memory card. Draw one card as the digivolving bonus and the digivolution is complete. Digivolution doesn't count as playing. Card so the Digivolt card can attack. However, if you play a Digimon from your hand, then a Digivolve that card, it is still it still can't attack this turn. I'm gonna lose my mind if I keep having to say Digi and Digivolve and hatching. Oh my god. You guys can tell I'm not very used to doing these type of videos. This is pretty much my first time doing something like this, so I'm gonna make multiple, multiple multiple mistakes. So if you feel free, well, feel free to roast me or say I'm a noob now in the car, uh, comments. So yeah. So yeah, we've cleared the first tutorial, which is mostly just hatching and digging rolls, and now we move on to the second tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be going over the basics of battle. For victory uh, conditions, get rid of all cards in your opponent's security stack, then attack them directly. Okay, so yeah, pretty much it's it's like the mer it's actually, it seems more like the Dragon Ball Z card game. I never really got into that card game because I never really got into Dragon Ball Z. So, yeah, get rid of all the... Uh, security cards and then attack them directly for damage. So, uh, now it's time to attack your opponent. You can attack by t uh, attacking one of your straight up or cards and rotating it. It's sideways. Okay, so you're just tapping it. So, yeah. so into magic, I guess. You attack your opponent, uh, you attack your opponent, or you may, or any of their system, Digimon, or any of their tapped Digimon, I guess. Uh, right now, your opponent doesn't have any, so you attack your opponent. So I guess you just, oh, so it's, uh, yeah, same way as, I guess, games like, um, oh, what is it? Duel Links? Um, Legends of Ruterra, kind of where, do I guess? I have to double tap, okay. You can attack a player, you perform a check on one of their security cards. The card you revealed was Hammer Spark, an option card. When a card with a security effect is revealed by a security check, the effect activates Hammer Spark. Security effect is gain two memory. So the memory counter will move two spaces to the right. Which means they have more memories now. If the memory counter moves one higher your opponent's side of memory gauge, it will become their turn at once the attack is over. Once security card it's security effect. Place at owner's trash. Uh, security effects do not require a memory cost yet. It's not your cards turn. Uh, time to block. One of your opponent's attacks. Blocking is defending against one of your opponent's attacks with a Digimon that has the blocker skill. 
prepare for your blocking, you can block and switch targets. And attack one with blocker and the two Digimon to bow. Blocking is an important technique to protect your security deck or import Digimon. Or important Digimon. So yeah, you just tap it in, in battle, you compare the DP Digimon power of both Digimon. The Digimon with the highest with the lowest DP loses. His defeat is deleted and sent to its uh, owner's trash. Um, if the two Digimon have the same DP, it becomes a tie and both Digimon are deleted. Okay, now because I've got 6k, but they get tagged. When the Digimon is revealed from the security deck, it becomes a Security Digimon. Alu and does battle with your opponent's Digimon. If the attacking Digimon lose or the Digimon or about ends in a tie, it is deleted. Security Digimon are sent to their owner's trash regardless of the outcome of the battle. Security Digimon differ from regular Digimon, normal Digimon. In that, they can't activate any effects other than the security effect and aren't affected by card effects that would affect a normal Digimon. Okay. It evolved. Okay, greeting phase. Let's hack a Digimon. Let's evolve that. Get the card, then I get to evolve again. Okay. So it's time to try out the option card Shadow. If so you're using it from your hand, you activate it. its main effect. In order to use the option card, you must have at least one Digimon of the same color, or one Tamer of the same color, in either your battle area or breeding area. So, so, so I just, oh, I'll just put it in there. Okay. Uh, reveal the Shadow Ring in your hand and pay its memory cost of one. Its main effect is... Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 DP for the turn. So. Uh, 5,000. It's an option for us to use this place in the end's trash. We can attack your opponent's suspended Digimon with um, an Aogmon. Or power it up to attack your opponent directly. So I attack the Digimon because it can block. If attack another Digimon as long as you aren't blocked by one of your opponent's other Digimon, the two Digimon will do that. Injured. Or trash. But, can did evolve. Now it's power is 8. Uh, the effect. Uh, these effects can't be activated when they're on the field as Digimon and can only be activated when that Digimon becomes a, div uh, a devolution card. In effect, your turn, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 battle points. So during their turn, Greymon will get an extra 1,000. In effect, applies even if you did evolve again. By carefully choosing Digimon with inherited effects, 
uh, to digivolve them, you can breed an incredibly strong Digimon. When you want to check a card, it images effects, tap and hold on it to check its details. You can digivolve with suspended Digimon, but they will stay suspended even after digivolving. Uh, time to play Tamer Card. Uh, Tamer Cards have continuous effects that benefit you as long as they play in the battle. It's a kind of like support cards, but they stay on board. Uh, in your hand, you pay its cost now, its effect of Digimon. Oh, sorry, my name's John. Get an additional 1000. Team of cards can't attack or block, but they can't be attacked by Digimon either. Also, if you have several copies of the same Tamer in play, the effects. Oh, so they stack. Uh, block the attack. So I'll block him on the eye. Uh, so the tie can get let go. Green phase. This so turn you can't do anything during the breathing phase. So move on. Okay. Move on to the phase. Devolving going to your uh, imagination. Okay. So this is, I think this is the max now you can do some more green. Oh, it just has one additional. This is blocking. Uh, during this turn, the player you are passing on the... Mm -hmm. okay. uh, when you pass your turn, the memory counter moves to free on your opponent's side of the memory bridge. No matter how much memory you have left. Hmm. Okay. from the green area. Let's uh, get him to attack my opponent. These effects of security plus one, you can form a check on two of your opponent's security cards. Digimon you're attacking me with is deleted or returned to the hand. In the middle of the check, check ends. Direct attack. If you land attacking your opponent, uh, when they have no security cards left, you win, you win the game. So congratulations, you win! You can now use this half deck to enjoy some battles. Yeah, so... That is all the tutorials done. So, now I got the deck.
for the red half there. So, so now I can do the uh, Gaia red. But I think I'll leave this video here. So yeah, if you guys have like I th if you guys are interested in this game, then let me know and I will continue with the um, the training app. And yeah, when it comes to this game, I'm actually really excited to fully play it. Because to be honest, I've never been a fan of playing a card game online. I've always preferred having actual cards to like feel and, and play. That's why I've, I've actually got so many cards on my desk right now. So many of my custom tokens and some of my magic decks to have a look through. So, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want me to continue. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.